Hello, this is Broy, and welcome back to the episode of Let's Play Football Manager 2019. Unfortunately, we did finally lose a game against Chesterfield. It was an away game, which are always going to be harder, and um, they are ranked fourth in the league right now. But, you know, if we are what people say we are, which is, you know, one of the better teams in the league, we should have had a good chance of winning that game. We did only lose it by one goal, and we had much better stats. We had a lot more shots, a lot more possession. You know, it just felt like it was going good for us. We just couldn't get into the back of the net. One thing that was against us is that Danny Lloyd, our man, Danny Lloyd, did get injured just before the game started, um, like a day before the game, whatever. And so I, so we had to sit him. And, uh, you know, we'll never know if he, he would have made the difference. But uh, it's not over yet. One loss, you know, it's going to happen. Um, I'm really hoping, you know, we can pull this back around. We do have a game against Harrogate, which we have beaten already this year. Um, have we only played them once? We've only... Actually, we played him twice. We played him actually as the second, our very first actual friendly game, if you don't count our under-18s. So we've actually beat him twice this year, if you count the friendly. So hopefully we can do something good against Carrigate, keep our momentum going. Uh, it's just unfortunate to lose a game in the National League here. But uh, let's get things going. Um, yeah, we made, uh, we did have a lot of missed chances, unfortunately. Um, we have a game that was rearranged. Got a long time before the next game, actually. We had a lot of rest, a lot of training. So we should have all of our boys back. Um, everybody should be ready to go for this next game, which is going to be good. Uh, Houghton just didn't play very well. Crocom was apparently our best performance at a 6.8, which is, does, not, does not say much. That tells you basically how that game went. Just did not go very well. Um... We've got a new center back that we were bringing in. I think this is going to be good. It's got a young player. I think we're going to be good to bring him in. And just really have some good rotation players and things like that. And some people that we can continue to develop into some better players. You know, maybe we can develop into sell off to get even, you know, other players. Or we can develop them to pull into our, our first team squad, you know, which, whichever it may be. We'll see how it goes. Plus, you know, there's always the chance of, of injuries and things. Um, we'll ask Pond to welcome him. Training schedule. Still, again, like I said, a lot of time. A lot of quality of training sessions. Focusing on ball distribution and stuff, which is always good to focus on. Uh, what we got here? We got a midfielder. We do need a defensive midfielder. This is an attacking midfielder. So um, I don't think he's really going to be fitting into our what we want to do. So we're just going to acknowledge this, and that's going to be fine. I'd love to get us a defensive midfielder, though. Somebody to replace Cool or to step in for Cool or, or whatever. Injury update. We got Carl and Rich all both still injured. A couple guys still returned from injury, so hopefully they get better. Maybe come and happen. Let's give him more first-team soccer. I mean, I really like this guy a lot. He's played well for me in other games, but we just really haven't done much with him in this game. He's got some development potential. Maybe we should start trying him out. Uh, too old for under-18s. Okay, that's fine. Very good. Could be as good as Nathan Pond. That's what we're hoping for. That's why we brought him in. And recent form deserves recognition. You know what? I'm okay with that. Let's praise your recent form. He's really been playing a good, good game for us. We set him for a lot of the first half of the season. He's really been showing up lately. Brought him in as a rotation player and, uh, Ended up showing us what he's capable of. We're still in 11th place. Not super far outside of the, the playoff brackets, but uh, that loss against Chesterfield really hurt. All righty. Let's get past all this training stuff. I guess I could have gotten past a little bit more of this before, before the next match, but oh well. You know, I may actually go see if there's any, been any defensive... Um, Midfielders showed up at all. This is a fullback. Defensive left. I mean. Hmm. Really don't know anything about him. Let's go ahead and scout him out. You never know. And. This is another fullback. This is a right fullback. We'll go ahead and scout you out. Why not? Don't know anything about you at this time. We'd like to see what we can find out. Let's see if we can see. Um, filter. I guess this is just showing us everything that we can have. No recommendations, huh? Players scouted. All right, here's what we're looking for. Let's look for 
uh, midfielders, and specifically defensive midfielders, which don't see any... Actually, uh, this guy would be a defensive midfielder. Mr. Jared Bird here. Average rating, though, is not super great. Um, we'll go that way. Ben Little. Callum Butcher. Skybet League 2. Probably, yeah, way too expensive for us. I mean, Ben Little here could turn into something, but he um, he's more of a regular midfielder than anything. Not really seeing any strong defensive... Let's go uh, defensive midfielder. So we got Harrison Bennett here. Wouldn't be too expensive. Cameron Hill. Let's go ahead and scout you out. Um, let's check you out real quick for a second. Decent strength. Some of his other stats aren't super great. Would be a really good defensive midfielder though for us. So plays Anchorman. So that is not what we're playing right now. What about Cameron Hill here? Don't really know much about him. Let's sketch you out and see what we can come up with. 18 years old, young guy. It'd be good to bring in. Actually, you know what? We could check our under 18, see if there's anybody here that's been showing up really, really well. Um, such as, like, who's our, some of our better players? I guess these are our better players up here. Defender, midfielder, left. Attacking midfielder. Central midfielder right here. What, what position do you play, Mr. Nabby? You don't really play a good defensive midfielder, unfortunately. And Frankie Wallace. Also not super great back there. And these guys are probably just way too young to matter. Yeah, he's only 16 years old. We'll see. We'll have to keep developing some of those guys and see what they can turn into. Focusing on some just general fitness and stuff, it looks like. Endurance, quickness, resistance. Alrighty. Transfers and contract advice. Uh, yeah, no, absolutely. We'll remove you from the loan list. I think that is fine. Redshaw is, or not Redshaw, Pierre Gianni. Pierre Gianni is back. That's good to see. Oh, no. Um... Suffering from the flu. Let's just send him treating him at the club. We'll send him home. We're, we're not going to need him. I'd rather him be home and not have a chance of infecting anybody else. That's cool. I, I don't know if I've seen the flu in any of the games before so or any of the seasons before. So that's pretty cool that they have that in here. Maybe it's been here all along and I just haven't seen it. But food is still just doing so good. All right, we're going to try praising you again because I just really want to. All right, finally you accept the praise. Good stuff. Joe Lindley's training actually also went up because of the criticism. Come on, save. Let's go. Got a game to play. 22nd, still eight days away. Match tactics, match practice. Um, you know what? We will send some more guys over here to uh, to the until until fit side of things. Actually, even our goalkeeper he needs to get some sharpness back. Honestly, all of these guys. Let's get them some uh, some match sharpness back. Uh, we'll use Walker back here as well. Might as well. Just throw as many guys as we can. We'll leave the white head up here, though. I think he'll be fine. Oh, you know what? Actually, why not? We'll just make everybody available. I don't think we're going to be using hardly any of those guys. Uh, Lucchetti plays with Cole's progress. 
could still improve. That's always good to see. Still playing him in that defensive role. Playing him, paying him quite a bit of money, which he's been doing okay for us, to be fair. We're just not playing him maybe at his strength, which is unfortunate. Rooney injured. Oh, no. Gashed upper leg during training. What did he do? Get hit by a cleat or something? Ouch. That is rough. That is following a robust challenge. Wow, that is rough. Got a lot of time for him to come back, but I don't think he's going to be back in time for the Harrogate game. It's not the end of the world. we got other players, and he hasn't been playing super well, but, man, that hurts. A lot of games on this Saturday, apparently. A lot of games. Goodness. I know we're tracking a lot of leagues, but wow. A little bit of recovery here. Glenn developing concerns. Doesn't seem himself at the minute. I think he's struggling with being out of the team recently. Discuss with him. What can I do for you, boss? What's worrying you, buddy? I know that you only see me as a backup player, but I feel like my career is stagnated given me my, uh, my lack of game time. I think I deserve a chance to show you what I can do with the spell on the first team. Um... Kieran Glenn. What, what our position are you again? Oh, that's right. You're a midfielder. I mean, you're not really one of my better players. I'll be honest. You know, we'll see if we can put you out on loan. Sounds good. So, Kieran Glenn, we will list you for loan. So, the development list. I think so, right? Development list is the loan list. It looks good. So now you are... There we go. Listen for loan. Perfect. We'll see if we can get somebody to, to grab you up. I mean, if you can improve, I mean, you're only two stars right now. So you honestly may not be a player that we want to keep around long term, but we'll see what we can do with you. I think you were one of our under 18s that we pulled up because of your age, but your development is kind of capped out. But if we can loan you out and get some, some good use out of you, that might work out. Um, draw. And that was with a lot of our first team players, actually. That's, uh, that's not, that doesn't bode very well. Um, that's all right. Hopefully they got some, some, uh, experience or some, some, uh, match sharpness is what I'm trying to say. We have another game pretty quickly after the Harrogate game. So hopefully everybody comes back rested. Most vulnerable to face in the wide, which we're playing, so that's always good. James Hooper is now very much prepared to be an effective influence on the left wing. Really? That's good. Number of players voicing concern. Attacking midfielder left, wide target man. Really? Would it be more suitable for him to be on the left, really? Try it out. Let's try his first time shots. Shoots his goal scoring abilities. Yeah, does he really have some good goal scoring ability? Knocks ball past opponent. Discourage long shots. It's fine. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll go ahead and go with these. If the coaches are saying something, they've obviously seen something statistically that tells them that this is a good plan. I will accept it for now. Come on. Uh, finishes scouting Griffiths. Does not want to sell. Nothing. Nothing doing here. This is a, what was our. Oh, this was a. Midfielder left. Yeah, that's fine. We'll acknowledge that. We don't need him. We know how Harrogate plays, so we don't... Not necessarily a lot of scouting that we need to do. And, you know, we, we should we should show up against them. What is our uh, expectation in the trophy? Reach final, really? All right. Well, we'll see what we can do. Really hoping everybody should be fully rested after all this.
I can go to Wrexham, 10th place. Again, that should be a team that we, we should be capable of beating if we are who people think we are. Although we haven't been so far this season, but I think we have a chance. So we got three days of rest for this one, and we got two days for that one. So it'll be a couple games quick back to back after this big long rest here, but hopefully this long rest really helps us out. Osborne, fullback, left. Extremely interested. It would be cheap. It's got some potential. Could even be better than Toure. You know, I know it's crazy to keep trying to poach guys to sign up, but this guy is pretty cheap. Cool. It's a very short contract, but, you know, we'll see what he can do. Maybe we can pull him in for Toure or to cover uh, something like that. We got, Like I said, we got a lot of games back-to-back, -back, so we're going to need some rotation. Shuckleford. To its right, extremely interested. Another relatively cheap player. Could be not quite as good as... I mean, he could be as good as Wiseman in the long run. Man, it's a lot of players we're signing right now. How are we looking at finances? I mean, I'm going crazy right now. Currently, we're spending well below our payroll, so we have some 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 room to wiggle here. And honestly, if any of these guys don't work out, we just put them up for, you know, we either don't renew the contract or we we uh, try and loan them out or whatever we end up doing. Do we still have a weak, uh, weakness over there? Yeah, it's still one of our weaker places, that and defensive midfielder. So I think we go ahead and sign this guy. It's gonna be it's a little crazy, but I think we go ahead and sign him and really maybe hold off for a defensive midfielder for the last anything else we sign. Hmm. I'll go with it. I mean, it's only for six months, and if he doesn't work out, then so be it. Really going crazy, but we're trying to do what we can do to uh, to really just have a have a good team for next season. If if the season doesn't go as well as we want it to. We can triumph and Harrogate clash. We should. I mean, we've beaten them twice this year. We need this win. Sharp. We're going to be trying to offensively trap them, apparently. Lewis Blackshaw. Do I praise Mafuda again, who's just our... Incredible. Apparently that worked. <laughs> it's a little nervous, but I want to praise him because he's doing a good job. He's our best trainer at the moment. It's good to see Cool up there. Rodney. It's really good to see. Come on. Let's go game. Is there anybody else we want to put on the development list, maybe? There might be. We may actually look at that here. In a moment. All right, a lot of good people coming back from fitness, passing Danny Lloyd especially. That's really important. Still got a strong overall recent form. All right, Krogum, do we time? Do we want to swap you out for Neil at this point? I mean, I'm playing pretty well. Yeah, Neil's sharpness isn't super high. We're going to play Krogum a little bit longer. Um... We'll leave Wiseman in here. That's fine. Well, I would love to see some of these other guys at some point, but they need a little bit more uh, overall sharpness. We'll leave Pond in here. Uh, Carl here needs to get a little bit more sharpness as well. We'll leave Hogan in. Ture. I think everybody, honestly, I'm actually pretty okay with this. Um, for the most part. We're going to definitely bring 
Lloyd back in. His sharpness is a little bit low, but honestly, I'm not worried. And then we need somebody else here instead of the striker. Uh, what we could do is swap Gaffney out for... Man, I'd love to bring Collins in. Probably bring in... Let's try, uh, let's try Rodney over here. And that way we can bring Gaffney in here. Cool. All right, we got Lindley. We got Maynard. We got Houghton. Walker, I guess, is fine. Jones. And let's get us one more option here. You know what? We're going to bring in you. Maybe we can sub you in and see what you can do with us. Why not? We'll see what happens. Not a good partnership, huh? Hogan and Pond. Well, do we swap somebody else in for Hogan then? Lives you. It's not on our team. <laughs> I keep seeing him, and it would be nice to bring him in. We're bringing James Jones. You know what? James Jones has had a pretty good last five games. We'll try him out for now. All right, here we go. And we're off. Oh, I didn't mean to hand that over to the assistant, but that's okay. Apparently, whatever he said was uh, was received pretty well. All right, Harrogate gets the first possession here. Let's get out of them, guys. Come on. We need this. Don't let that last loss get to us. So playing balance, is that what I want to be playing? Because it's fine for now. We may we may push that up here a little bit. Gaffney already getting a yellow card. Ouch. All right, we got to throw in for Wiseman here. He's going to throw it into Gaffney. He's going to get somebody else's head's going to get on it. But Cole's going to be able to beat that one back. Mufuda is going to get it towards the middle. Is he going to take a kick? No, he's not. He's going to lose the possession there, unfortunately. Uh, it's not going to quite go out of bounds, is it? Uh, I think we saved it, sort of, maybe. It's hard to tell. Cole's going to get that one back, though. Shelton's going to take it back to Cole. Cole's going to get over to Mafuda. He's going to try and reset a little bit here. He's going to start pushing up a little bit now. He's going to go for a kick. He had a chance there. It looked like it might have been going in. Goalkeeper was able to get his hands on it, though. We've had six shots already. Two of them on target. Wow. All right. That was a weird free kick. I guess he was just... Uh oh, oh, come on, guys, get in front of it. There we go. That is going to be a throw in for Harrogate. Yeah, definitely, Gaffney. We do not want to lose you, buddy. All right, Webb. Webb is their guy. Let's get a yellow card here. Come on. Show that you can be fair. Throw, throw yellow cards on both sides. There we go. <laughs> First yellow card of the season. All right, we got a free kicker from Cool. A little too much curve there, buddy. Went outside the left side. Another free kick for Cool. That one, I think that one went off the wall. I was going to say, yep, it did. We are going to get a corner kick out of this one. Gaffney's going to take the corner. Anybody there? Not really. Are we going to be able to collect this one? We are not. Nine shots, two on target. No goals, though. We're going to get a throw in from Gaffney here. He's going to get into Shelton. Backed over to Gaffney. He's going to be able to cross it in. He's going to get it over to Lloyd. Lloyd is going to... Oh, it looks like he's got some space. He was able to get, get a pretty good shot off. Goalkeeper was there, though, ready, waiting for him. We did turn that into a corner, though. Gaffney's going to take the corner. Lloyd was not quite able to get up to it, I don't think. Still nothing. Ten, ten shots for us, three on target. Finally got a shot for them, though. We're taking full possession, though. We really should have had a goal by now, I think, with this, this much of a possession on our side. That many shots going for us. Got one minute of extra time. Really nothing going that first half. Come on, guys. We can play better than that. We can play better than that. All right. A couple of people seem motivated. Let's go ahead and start the second half. I think I'm going to go and push it up to a positive mentality. 
Let me see if I can get the boys just to be a little bit more aggressive. Oh, come on, boys. Lloyd, Lloyd, Lloyd. That was very blatant. You've already gotten a red card this season. Been sent out. Thankfully, you only got a yellow there. But man, buddy, you got to watch yourself. Pond's going to be able to take a free kick here. He's going to kick it up to Cool. Get over to Shelton. He's going to get it. Try to get inside to Rodney. Rodney was tripped up a bit. He wasn't called for it, but it was over to Gaffney. Gaffney was able to get the goal here. So good job, Gaffney. 13th goal of the season. Love to see that. Maybe it's a mistake us playing him on the right winger side. I don't know, because he is such a good striker. But that was kind of weird. Rodney was able to try to get in there. Tripped over. I guess Cole was... was Going for the slide, Roddy tripped over him, so it wasn't really a foul. More than happenstance. All right, who's getting? It uh, looks like uh, uh, Harrogate's got a yellow card. Got a kick off from Cool. A free kick here was off the wall. Are we gonna be able to collect that one? I don't know if it matters because that was the end of the highlight. Morgan, another yellow card looks like for Harrogate. Is indeed. We've got five yellow cards already this game. This ref does like the yellows. Cool, getting a yellow card. Goodness, yellow cards go in both directions. Very aggressive game so far. Almost at the 60 minute mark. Pond pushing people. All right, cool. Hold up, buddy. Calm yourself down. All right, let's get a sub in here. Uh, actually, we may be subbing out Cole anyway. He's already got a yellow card. I think that is a good idea. Let's drop him out from Mafuda, and we'll bring in. Um, I'm gonna bring in Maynard. I think he's gonna be fine. Another person getting a yellow card here. Looks like, or maybe not. Maybe they. Come on, what's going on here? It is a yellow. Okay, so we got so many yellow cards being thrown around right now. All right, another sub to be made. To be made. Um, Shelton looks like the most tired of anybody so far, and he's playing the worst. So we're going to sub out Shelton for bringing Houghton. That's going to be fine. Let's get going. Come on, guys, let's hold on to this. Do have a corner kick. Lloyd's going to get the corner. It's going to get deflected by Harrogate. Although Hot is going to be able to collect that one with his fresh legs. Get it up to Lloyd. Lloyd's going to get over to Rodney. Rodney's going to get it off the deflection there. Hot is going to be able to collect that one back to Wiseman. Wiseman's going to kick it over to Maynard. Maynard is going to get tripped up there. Falkingham is going to be able to collect that one. And Harrogate on the attack. Oh, we're going to get a throw in four. For Wiseman, over to Mathuda, back over to Wiseman on the right side. He's going to be able to get a good cross here, but nobody from our team is there. But Maynard was able to collect that one off the goalkeeper. Gaffney's going to be able to try and collect that one, but Cole was able to get it himself. And now they are on the attack. Let's see the end of this highlight. Oh, come on, buddies. Pond. Pond. Is that your second yellow? That is your second yellow. Oh, it's going to go straight to a red. Oh, my goodness. Pond. All right. All right. Pause, pause, pause. 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 Um, yeah, we got to sub some stuff out. So, we're going to make a sub. We're going to sub out, um, we're going to sub out Danny Lloyd for Joe Lindley. And Joe Lindley needs to go back to, how do I move you to, hmm. I want to move you back to the defensive side of things. How do I? That's not what I want to do. Really? Um. How do I? I don't have that. Normally, there's a, used to be a way to get a different view here, which I'm not able to see anymore. Um. Oh, maybe Nathan Pond here. Can I? That didn't work. I'm so confused. What? Why we can't sub this guy out? Or just put him in that place? Because I, I, I want to get give up the attacking guys and play a little more defensive here. There's got to be a way to do this. I'm just missing.
Um, team instructions shout. Player. Can I sub here? Mm, I think I can sub here. Okay. So, Lindley. How come you can't... Oh, I just need to get you in, I guess. So you're coming in for Lloyd. And then I can sub you down here, right? There we go. Really? You can't play that role? I'm surprised. It says you can play defender left, right, and center. What are you better at? Oh, you're better on the right side. Can Wiseman play that by any chance? Slightly better. Not much. We'll go ahead and move Wiseman a little bit over to the center. Um, what are we going to do with this? I guess we can just leave it the way it is. I can bring, pull Gaffney back. If I wanted to. But I'll just leave it as it. I mean, we're going to have a little bit of an opening here. Torrey's going to have to play a little bit more forward. But the most important thing is to keep the defense going. So that's fine. We'll leave that. Confirm those changes. We're playing very defensive right now. Trying to hold on to this one nothing with a red card, though. It is not going to be easy. Very defensive still. Um, let's say... Encourage the team, guys. Even despite what's going on, let's encourage you guys. Come on. Frustrated? Really? How can you be frustrated by the feedback? I'm encouraging you. All right, I got a free kick here from Thompson. Practically a corner kick at that point, but Krokum was able to collect that one. Come on, Krokum. Come on, team. One minute and 45 seconds left of regular time. Got to hold on to this one nothing lead. Houghton's able, almost able to collect that one. Obviously, we're missing a guy over here, which is really going to be hurting us a lot. But really trying to play defensive here. Oh, it's a little bit of a trip up there. Thankfully, we didn't get called for that. Houghton is able to collect that one. He's trying to advance a little bit. Again, nobody to pass to up here. We are missing somebody. The food is going to be able to get over to Maiden. Really just kind of play, play hot potato here. Kind of play keep away. Ronnie's going to push it up a little bit. Oh, he's doing a pretty good move there. If, uh, if, uh, not Gaffney. Is that Gaffney? If he had been moved up a little bit more, yeah, it's Gaffney, he would have been, uh, might have been in a good position to collect that one. We do have three minutes more of extra time. Not much we can do here except just watch, honestly. Just got to watch and see. Try to, for tackle there, nothing going. Oh my goodness. Crocom able to get that one, snatch that one out of midair. That was close. Rooney, Rodney, sorry, with a push up here. He was able to, he was getting tripped up. We have a throw in here. Only eight seconds left of the game, though. Should be able to hold on to this one. We're just going to get a quick throw in here, and I think that'll be the match. Not, not this match anyway, but we didn't get throw in. Oh, we held on to that one, even with the red card. Unfortunate to get a red card from Pond, but it is what it is. Guys are playing aggressive. We were able to come away with that with a 1-0 uh, win. I think the guys... Good win, boys. Well done. Good stuff, even with the red card. All right, bit of a longer longer um, uh, episode just because of all the extra stuff that came up before the game, but we did come away with a win. Next game, you guys will see. Oh, man, it's a couple games away. Actually, next one, you'll see we against Wrexham here. Um, so we'll be playing, we're playing Wrexham ourselves once away, um, and then we'll play them again. You guys will see the results of those two as well as the game for Wrexham itself. I do appreciate you watching, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.